we will uh, call the meeting to order and uh, announce that it's being video recorded. Um, uh, doesn't seem like there's public um, participating, so no public comment. Uh, we do have uh, uh, minutes from July 23rd to approve. Uh, that Sarah sent out earlier today. Um, someone want to make a motion to approve those minutes? Sure, I'll make a motion. And a second, Randy? <laughs> I could say, see your lips moving even though you were muted. Uh, any amendments or modifications to those minutes? Look good to me. If yeah, not, they look fine. All in favor? Aye. Uh, so, do you need a roll call for minutes? Uh, we, we do, yeah. And every action, unfortunately. Uh, be speedy. Kevin? Yep. Randy? Yep. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? He's not muted. Oh, no, he's muted. He's not. Yeah, okay. He's not, he's not. Uh, Jason? <laughs> Take that yes. as a yes. All right. Yeah, we can't hear you, Alec. Yes, yes. Oh, good. There you yes, are. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, I can hear you. So much positivity. I love it. <laughs> um, and so we can proceed to. Did you get Jen's vote? Or would. Uh, she's not officially confirmed yet. She's still going ah. through the city council process. <laughs> I see. Yeah, and I've, as I was pulling out my conservation commission file uh, this afternoon. I was reminded that I, I I did get sworn in again for the next term, but I, I have been avoiding the recognition that I have to go through open meeting law training again. Um, so we uh, have to put that on my list. Um, so we have a series of, uh, no hearings, but a series of requests for certificates of compliance. Uh, first is for uh, 468 Coles Meadow Road. Everybody saw Sarah's uh, summary and uh, the information that she sent out about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it seems like it never happened. Um, so it would be a certificate of compliance, oddly, because it was an invalid order. It never happened. Someone want to make a motion to that effect? I moved. And a second? Second. Um, any discussion? The, the, what this, my understanding, Sarah, is that when we're according to an order of conditions never happens, um, then you, the certificate of compliance has a category that says, no, no, it was invalid and never happened. But it, there, so we call yeah. it compliance, but that doesn't mean that it was actually in compliance. Correct. It's the, it goes on the same form and it's recorded in the yeah. registry of deeds in the same way to clear out the title, but there's a separate box to check that says that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So uh, roll call vote. Kevin? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? Yes. Jason? Yes. All right. Unanimous, thank you. Okay, and the next certificate of compliance request is uh, 55 Dryads Green, um, which is uh, just around the corner from where I live. I go by it most days. Um, and they have done actually since they took it over from Smith College, seems like they've um, spruced it up and been doing a, a pretty good job of uh, taking care of the place. Um, so uh, Sarah, in your um, staff report, you said that uh, um, you had visited uh, after the original order and there was a slight modification um, uh, about the driveway layout. Yeah, the um, Berkshire design had checked in if it would be an allowable field change to slightly switch the layout of the driveway um, to fit the new homeowners needs. And there wasn't any additional increase in riverfront area disturbance. So that seems fine. So I allowed that. 
Uh, and there was a also just a, we probably wouldn't have required a permit anyway, but they um, they put in a French drain in the in the lawn, so it's right. um, exiting out. Over and and um, part of that driveway is outside the even the outer riparian area anyway. Correct. It's barely in the riverfront at all. Okay. Um, so um, I'm just getting here. Sarah's recommendation: issue a certificate of compliance. Um, what were the ongoing conditions? I, 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 I think for this one, it was only the requirement to add a statement in the deed that the parcel is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act. To add a what? Uh, a statement in the in any property in transfers deed. that get recorded that it's okay. subject to the WPA. All right. Someone want to make a motion to issue a certificate of compliance with those conditions continuing? I moved. And a second? Second. Roll call. Kevin? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? Yes. Jason? Yes. Thank you. All right, next request is for 320 Riverside Drive. This is the cutlery building? It is. Parking yeah. lot? The Seems like we, they come before us one way or another almost every year for something. They, they do. They're a frequent visitor. Um, but let's see. Staff visited the site and confirmed that the plantings are healthy, the site is stable, stormwater features were installed as proposed, and therefore we can issue a certificate compliance with required ongoing conditions. And although they have come before us frequently, I forget what those ongoing conditions were. With this one, I. I think it was the same requirement of that, the, the deed language. Um, and we didn't, because there were only two trees being planted, we didn't require them to come right. back for a period of year, just right. that they'd be installed initially. All right, someone want to make a motion to issue that certificate? So moved. And a second? Second. Further discussion? If not, roll call vote. Kevin? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? Yes. Jason? Yes. And the next one is uh, Hawthorne Terrace, the, the case that we continued last time um, because they'd gone through a couple of changes in ownership and um, they were asking for a certificate of compliance without, a, without information really. Um, and so since then, They've submitted the report that just came today, Sarah, and you, you forwarded yeah. it. Yeah, well, I think yesterday, but yesterday was a holiday. Well, I, I saw it today. So, um, and I don't know how everybody else feels. For, for me, my reluctance last time was just, you can't just say, never mind. Um, they've right. got to present something. And my sense was that, well, okay, the uh, uh, replication area is actually larger than. Uh, uh, the order of conditions required and um, seems that in, at least now we have some information about what happened. Yeah, and um, Mickey Marcus from uh, formerly New England Environmental, now SWCA is, is here as well. Hi. Hey everybody. Yeah, so yeah, this is one of those old projects. Um, I delineated it back in like 1991 or 1992. It's possible Mason reviewed it, but <laughs> this is one of those cases where um, there was uh, an isolated wetland, uh, about 600 square feet, that was regulated by the city's ordinance. And so the NOI was just to the city, not to DEP. And um, it, it, you know, we, we followed up in 1994, once it got planted, sent a letter to the commission then, I attached it. But you know, then the property changed hands, there was no follow-up, no subsequent inspections, no subsequent certificate of compliance. So I guess the current owner is planning to sell the property and would like to just tie this up. Uh, the only other thing I, I would add is uh, I did notice um, there were two items that you probably want to put in any certificate of compliance. One was th this thing is um, like a little basin with wetland vegetation around it, but uh, somebody had gone in there and cut the herbaceous vegetation probably this year. So there were ferns and some other plants cut. I don't know why they'd go in there. It's pretty dense, but you may want to just 
remind the subsequent owners no cutting. And yeah. there was also, I found uh, a piping from an old irrigation hose down in that area. It may have been done way back to establish the shrubs, but at, at this point, they, they don't need to irrigate that. Is that how much disruption would be required to pull it out of there? I, I think it's just pulling out the head of the irrigation hose. So yeah. it's quite superficial. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions from commissioners? Terry, your uh, uh, the work was done. Um, well, the follow up wasn't done as completed. You know, no as built plan, etc. But um, uh, the uh, work itself was done, and um, you have some. And I'm just reading here now. As built plan showing wetlands and all construction, including topography, uh, was not provided. But a wetlands assessment and maps were included in this most recent supplemental uh, information. Uh, the, the, the annual report um, was done only at the beginning and not as in subsequent years. Um, the uh, disturbance shown on the plans of the driveway must be within the hatched area. What um, I, I didn't look back at uh, last meeting's uh, maps to see uh, whether the most recent submission. It, it, uh, re remind me, sir. I, I, it seems like the the house wasn't built in in a problematic area, was it? It was the uh, no. I, the plans had no. shifted from the original proposal, um, but it seemed like everything most likely was within the hashed area. We don't have a, an as-built plan to know that for sure, but it, it, if it is out, it's out by maybe just a few feet. Yeah, if, if no, you look no up, big concern. I, don't, I don't know if the commission members have that report that I sent, but there's a photo mm -hmm. called photo five. And, um, area I, and I flagged that um, the area that was that's currently the wetland, but that entire corner of the lot is that hatched area that was supposed to be left vegetated and it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it now. Okay, right. Okay. All right, so we have uh, um, staff recommendation, if we all agree um, that we now have enough information rather than no information on um, uh, to go with the request for a certificate of compliance. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It looks like, again, that the work was mostly done. Some of the follow-up reporting wasn't, but yeah. at least at this point in time, it looks like uh, they've maintained that wetland area. Someone want to make a motion to that effect to grant that certificate with uh, whatever the permanent record conditions would then be communicated to the new buyer, um, but uh, otherwise to grant that certificate? So moved. And a second? Second. Okay. And roll call vote. Kevin? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? Yes. Jason? Yes. Okay. Um, and then Sarah uh, uh, emailed me about a septic system that was failing. Um, and okay. if you, bye, thanks, Mickey. Thank you. Um, thanks. Uh, and uh, this on uh, West Hampton Road. You want to describe that a little bit for the rest of the commission, Sarah? Yeah, uh, we received correspondence from uh, Alan Weiss, who's a septic consultant, and he was made aware of the, the system that basically wasn't functioning at all anymore. It was uh, depositing raw sewage directly into the water table. Uh, the Board of Health granted a certificate to do the work immediately to fix that situation. Um, Nothing was proposed to be closer to the wetland area than the previous septic system, and it's really important to get that corrected immediately. So we issued an emergency certificate for that. Do you need any action by the board? Is this informational? No, just informational. Okay, good. Um, then uh, conservation restriction, Old Springfield Road. 
Sure, right. And we're not entirely sure that um, this will go anywhere, but hopefully it will. Um, share my screen. Mass Audubon has asked the city for a, a small contribution, maybe $2,000 at the maximum um, for a property in the Meadows. And in return, they would grant a conservation restriction to the city. They're still in negotiations with um, the property owner. So they're not entirely sure what the details will be, but again, the city's not, um, not paying any more than $2,000. So this is sort of an, an in-holding within um, Mass Audubon and city Connecticut River Greenway Meadows areas. So the, the locust area is shown um, highlighted oh, here. Right. You can see all of the the yeah. other protected open space all around it. So Mass Audubon has been pursuing this for quite some time. So this seems like a win-win for everybody. It, it really won't change anything on the ground. It hasn't been actively managed, but it will provide Mass Audubon some floodplain forest restoration opportunity. Good. Um, yeah, that's good. Always glad to see more of that. Uh, uh, especially adjacent to uh, substantial areas like that. Um, so you need a uh, motion to accept from the commission or not Correct. yet? Um, at, at this point, just so we can start moving forward, it, it will be going to city council as well. So we'd like to say for sure that we have the conservation commissions. Okay, so do that. Someone want to make a motion to accept uh, uh, that conservation restriction for that parcel? I'll make a motion. And a second. Second. Any further discussion? If not, roll call. Kevin? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jack? Yes. Mason? Yes. Alec? Yes. Jason? Yes. All right, unanimous. Thank you. OK. Um, so our next meeting is uh, in December, right? Because two weeks is Thanksgiving? It is. I don't know how Thanksgiving has stuck up on us already. But <laughs> so the, the next meeting will be uh, December 10th. Yeah. December 10th? Yes. Yes, OK. Um,